Hi there. In today's devotion, I want to take you to 1 Peter chapter 4. 1 Peter chapter 4 and verse 7 says, The end of all things is near. Therefore, be clear-minded and self-controlled so that you can pray. So Peter knows that in the last days, it is going to be very tough. People will be busy and they will not have time to pray. And what is opposite to pray? What is the hindrance to prayer? is a confused mindedness or selfishness. You don't have a self-control, you don't have a clear mind, then you cannot pray rightly. So Peter says, because the end of all things is near, therefore be clear minded. You know, we have to have a mind that is clear, not confused. Knowing what we believe, and standing by it is what clear-minded is all about. Don't be confused with all the other teachings that is coming along. So clear-mindedness and self-control is the most important things so that you can pray. Verse 8 says, Above all, love each other deeply, because love covers over a multitude of sins. So the, the verse 8, Peter says, that not only you have to have a clear mindedness and self control so that you can pray. And then he said, above all, that love each other deeply because love covers over a multitude of sins. We have a responsibility to love people. Love is from God, and love of God is poured out in our hearts. And we have a responsibility to love people. You know, if you read 1 Corinthians chapter 13, it talks about love. And he says, even if you are able to speak in tongues and if you don't have love, it is useless. If you are having all kinds of knowledge, but still if you don't have love, it is useless. So there are things that Paul says in his letters that it is important to love. And Peter says the same thing. And he says, above all, love each other deeply because love covers over a multitude of sin. When we love people unconditionally, who they are and what they have done, and we have to show love to them, what happens is that love is able to cover over a multitude of sin. Love has the ability to destroy the power of sin and that is why it is so important that we have to learn to love people. Verse 9 says, Offer hospitality to one another without grumbling. Each one should use whatever gift he has received to serve others. So being hospitable is also very important. And he says in verse 10 that each other must use whatever gift that God has provided for us, you know, to serve others. The gifts of the Spirit is not to show off. The gifts of the Spirit is to encourage people to serve people so that they can grow in the Lord. And uh, let me read what he has. It says, faithfully administering God's grace in its various forms. So, what we are trying to do is to administer the grace of God to people. How you can do it? By using the gift, the spiritual gift that God has given to you to serve others. When we do that, you know, faithfully, we are administering grace in various ways. Maybe this morning, you know, uh, you are not praying right. You have to check yourself whether your mind is clear. If your mind is not clear, ask the Spirit of God to have a clear mindedness and check your selfishness, you know, are you selfish or are you self-control? And then that is what is needed to have a wonderful time of prayer. Then you have a responsibility to love people. Peter says that above all, we have to love deeply, which means that there is no strings attached. You have to love like Christ loved. And then you have to offer hospitality and then you have to use your gifts that God has given you to serve others, not for your benefit, but serve others. 
Anytime God gives a spiritual gift, it is to serve others. Serve others faithfully, administering the grace of God so that they can grow in the Lord. So this, this is just few words that can enable us to get ready and be a good believer in the last days. So may God bless you as you uh, follow all this instruction that we have in the Word of God. God bless you today.